test case writing for the sign up page for a demo application as an example. Let's go back to the sign up page again, which I have created to test as an example. In my previous videos, I have already explained the test cases I created for the name fields first. And now I will be creating test cases for the email ID field. Next, we'll move on to the mobile number and the password field. In this video, I will explain the test cases for the mobile number or email ID field. Suppose the user chooses to provide his or her email ID to register for the application online. Then what are the possible scenarios he or she might face? First, he or she must have entered a valid email with all valid credentials into all other fields. That is a valid scenario, right? and he or she must be able to sign up. Or the other scenario could be that he or she must have entered the wrong email, that is invalid email. That means it's not in the right format. Or as a tester, you may enter some wrong credentials into the field to test. For example, just typed in anything like ABC, 1233, etc. and trying to sign up. It's not going to work. The third scenario is that the user used a not verified email and the fourth scenario is that the user must have left the field empty which means without entering any email or mobile number and the fifth scenario is that the user used an already used or registered email. Let's quickly jump back to the Google Sheet where I have created the test suit for the sign up page and continue writing the test cases for the email ID field. In this demo application or a module, we see the field asking to sign up using our mobile number or email ID, right? So this field requires either a valid mobile number or a valid email ID so that we can sign up for it. And by doing this, we can check the application by providing both valid credentials one by one and see the results. So to create the test case for this field, we need to write it like this. This test case is same as we have already created in the first test case where we check by entering valid credentials into all fields. The result would be same after the sign up. It is a valid test case. Similarly, we have already created the test case by leaving one field empty in the test case number 12 as you can see here. So we do not need to write these test cases again. Let's quickly move on to the next test case where we will check the format of the email ID and to do this we have to enter an invalid email ID to test. So we can write step 14 as verify by entering an invalid email ID. The first action should be click to enter an invalid email for example Mina22. This is not a complete format, right? This is not in a format. So next step is to enter all other fields with valid credentials. Then click to sign up and see the result. The expected result should be that the sign up is not successful. You must provide a valid email ID. That is, it should be in the right format. For example, mina22 at the rate gmail.com because emails should be only accepted in the right format. Or you may also write the steps like this. Click on the first name field to enter your valid first name. Then click on the last name field to enter your valid last name. Enter an invalid email ID. Then enter to create a valid password and then click on sign up button. The expected result would be the same as above on entering a valid first name, last name and password. The placeholder must be removed and you should be able to enter into the fields. Next, on entering an invalid email, the placeholder must be removed and you should be able to enter your invalid email but it appears in red lines. Lastly, clicking on sign up, the error message shows that Please enter your valid email ID. 
The next test case should be to verify the field by using an already used email. This means the email which the user is going to use for this application for signing up has already been used for this same application before. That means the user is already signed up with this email and is a registered user. And now the user is signing up again using the same email ID. So to create the test case for this, I'm writing it like like this. Step 15. Verify using already used email. The first action is to enter the field by using an already used email. The expected result would be the placeholder should be removed and you should be able to enter the field by using already used email with no red lines. No red lines because this is a valid email and it's been already used one. So there will be no error in this case. The next action is to enter all other fields with valid credentials. The expected result would be that the placeholder should be removed. You should be able to enter valid credentials with no red lines. The third action is to click on sign up. The expected result would be that the sign up is not successful. It shows an error message which says already used email please enter another email to register. Step 16 is to verify the field by entering a not verified email. Not verified email is because when the user created his or her email, the user did not verify that. He must have received a verification code on his mobile number via text message which the user must have provided when creating his or her email. So, in that case, the user created his email, but it's not a verified email. And that's why not able to sign up now for the application. For any registration form or sign up form online, the user needs a verified email. So in order to register, he or she has to verify the email first and then come back to register in this application. Now let's create the test case for this step. The first action is to enter the field by not verified email. The expected result would be that the placeholder should be removed. You should be able to enter a not verified email with no red lines because this is the right format email but not verified. The second action is to enter all other fields with valid credentials. The expected result would be that the placeholder should be removed. You should be able to enter valid credentials with no red lines. And then by clicking on sign up, the expected result would be that the sign up is not successful. It shows an error message which says, please verify your email. To keep this video short, I will continue with the next field, which is the mobile number and password field into my next video. Until then, keep watching and share your thoughts below in the comment section. Like, share and subscribe. Press the bell icon to get notified of my new uploads. Thank you for watching.